Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make Kashmiri style suji ka halwa or semolina pudding. This semolina dessert flavored with cardamom and saffron is delicious and easy to prepare. Suji halwa is a classic Indian semolina pudding made with ghee and enjoyed by all. This soft and savory halwa is a welcome treat for taste buds at any time. So let's get started. For making this I have taken one cup of semolina or suji, half a cup of ghee or clarified butter and one cup of sugar. I have taken a measuring cup for all the measurements. You can take less sugar if you don't like too sweet. Four green cardamoms or you can take cardamom powder also. Two tablespoons of sliced peeled almonds. Two tablespoons of coconut scraps. Two tablespoons of raisins. Two tablespoons of cashews. Two pinches of saffron. I have soaked in water. Saffron I have taken as a substitute for color or you can use two pinches of turmeric also. And three cups of water. Dry fruits you can adjust accordingly. If you don't want, you can skip them. In a pan, I have heated up three cups of water and added sugar to it. And I'll add green cardamoms and saffron. We have to let it boil. If you are not taking saffron, you can add two pinches of turmeric. That will also give yellowish color. Let it boil till all the sugar is dissolved. Now I'll heat up a pan and add semolina to it. I'm not adding any ghee yet. I will roast it. This is an optional step, but it gives very good flavor to halwa. So we will roast it till on low flame till it starts to turn brownish. Here we need to be careful because we have to keep it stirring because suji tends to burn fast. Once it has been on flame for a while and aroma it has released aroma so I'll add ghee to it so I'm making a space in the middle because I'm adding dry fruits also here because uh, frying dry fruits a bit gives good aroma and I'm saving a bit of almonds for later garnishing so once you feel that uh, dry fruits are fried a bit then we will mix it with the semolina mix and let it fry on low flame for around 10 to 15 minutes till suji changed its color. Keep stirring so that it doesn't burn. So once suji has started to change its color, it has turned brownish. I will add strained sugar syrup, sugar and saffron syrup. You can add as it is, but I just like to strain it. Keep it on high flame till it gets its first boil and then keep it on low flame for around 5 to 10 minutes till all the water is absorbed and ghee is visible on the surface. So after around 10 minutes on low flame, you here you can see all the water is absorbed. So I'll keep it still for a few more minutes till it's cooked properly. Here an important thing is to that semolina should not lose its texture. It should get cooked but it should not lose its texture. It should have that grainy, bit grainy texture. Here the mellow, aromatic and sweet tasting suji halwa is ready. Now I'll dish it out. And garnish with some peeled almonds. And serve it hot. Give it a try and let me know in comments how it turns. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.